let's talk about uh, <clears throat> Michigan fans are calling for Ward Manuel and Juwan Howard to be fired. Now, think about this for a minute. Ward Manuel just uh, helped Michigan football get to a national championship. Juwan Howard had a lot of success as well, too, at Michigan. Um, and that man just had heart surgery. <laughs> that man just had heart surgery. And they tell him, we'll fire our ball. Fire our, I mean, fire Howard. And I, I one of the issues with Matt Ward Manuel, who was the athletic director, some people saying because, you know, he let Harbaugh take off the coordinators and assistants and stuff. What you think what coaches do? You know, don't, don't you, if you move it, don't you take the stuff you brought home with you, you brought with you? Only thing you leave is the stuff that you don't care about. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but I don't know if a lot of their argument got to do with Ward Manual taking some of that money from Harbaugh. And that's why everybody said, well, Harbaugh didn't want to come back. I'm pretty sure that's 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 something over Ward Manual had, in my opinion. That's probably something with the, with the with the university. Because they took some money because Harbaugh was underachieving. Fact of the matter is, Jim Harbaugh wanted to go chase the Super Bowl. And he wanted to invade the NCAA. And that's what that's what he did. And the thing about Juwan Howard, you know, his you know, he just had heart surgery. So I really don't understand people getting mad. Yeah, Michigan basketball is bad, but who the hell watched college basketball anyway? You know, the NIL, I mean, that should have happened years ago for college basketball. Therefore, all your top talent won't go abroad or they wouldn't be in the G League. So you can watch these guys in college. Y'all could have advocated to pay them earlier. And you could still have the stars. You could. Who watched college basketball? It got to be nobody. Anybody that live in a major city don't watch no college basketball. Like, literally, I haven't watched none of it this year. I don't know the players. I don't, like, come on, it's not even important anymore. Like, the top talent is going elsewhere. So, it's kind of the same thing that happened to Michigan State football, where the NIL destroyed Michigan State football. It's going to destroy teams that don't, that as university don't have deep pockets. And we all know the Michigan basketball, you know, program, University of Michigan give a hell about that. The footballers will make all the bacon. And we all know it. But the man is sick, had heart surgery, and they come, oh, fire him, fire him. Now, Warren Manuel coming off a national championship, and people talking about fire him, fire him. And I'm just looking like, dude, knee-jerk reactions. Like, you got to understand, there's a, Nick Saban got out of college football because of the, uh, the, the NIL. Let's not forget that. He got out because of the NIL. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. So there's an adjustment, especially in college basketball. How do you get the best people to come play for you? When well, they can go make the great money elsewhere. That's the question. And to be honest, you know, women's college, women's basketball... I know more about what's going on in the women's game, college basketball game, than the men's. Like, college basketball, been trying. I didn't watch none of the tournament last year. I've seen things in passing. It's just not appealing no more. The talent level is not there, and it's, it's a dying sport. The craftsmanship, of the craftsmanship of basketball is a dying sport. These kids don't can't play. Everybody just want to get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money. Get the money. But don't nobody want to learn how to play basketball. And that's where college basketball come in at. It's kind of a military style thing where you have to understand how to strategically attack a defense because you get to play traditional zone. That's what keep the, the, the Northern Iowa's and the Wichita States in the game. This is why you see the upsets in college basketball because of the traditional zone. And a lot of these kids that grew up in the AAU era and the era where we going to you know, play we, we just playing basketball and not knowing how to attack zones era. Um, 
you know, they don't know how to play basketball. And that's what college teaches you is how to attack zones, how to attack different defenses, how to run motions, how to run sets, how to run offenses. And they're not doing that no more on, a, on any level. Even in the NBA, they're not running sets for real no more. They going one on five, high pick and roll. It's a, it's a lot of fundamentals. So that's when I, I see people say today's basketball player are better. I laugh because that's a fucking lie. It really is. And I think these guys need to stay in college for two or three years. I'm really an advocate of that, man. This is why the Europeans are catching up because they're teaching the fundamentals. They're mastering the fundamentals. And this is why when you see the Team USA, uh, they struggle in the international play. Because they don't have any fundamentals. They don't have the fundamentals. They don't have the fundamentals. Or none of that. And we don't have the fundamentals, you struggle in, in that in that setting. You're gonna struggle in the NBA setting as well, too. And I, I keep trying to tell people that. You know? But uh You know, but yeah, you know, to say, oh fire him, he has to go, oh, fire. Like I'll just be an overreaction. Who you gonna put in there? The man literally just had surgery, bro. And it got other athletic director. They had a lot of successful runs at Michigan under him. So what do you want him to do any different? And you already know what, what fans these are. And I, I don't have to say it. I'm not going to say it. We already know what fan, what, what type of fans these are and what they look like. I'll say that much. We know what they what, what they about. We know exactly what they're about. And to me, shit is pathetic. Shit is mad pathetic. And, that, and, that, and, that, and that's my humble opinion on the situation. Two brothers been successful in their tenure there. And, oh, fire him, fire him, fire him, fire him. Fire. I'm like, get out of here, man. They were saying people who didn't want this man here to begin with. You know, and NIL just literally changed everything. And I think it would it would have did college basketball a lot of good had that change came years ago. I think the NIL would have did good had that change came years ago. That's just my opinion on it. And I definitely could be wrong. I definitely could be wrong. But to be saying, oh, they need to be fired after having success, I think they, they deserve a little bit more leniency. I ain't never seen them have handicap parking all the way in the back. Like, Jesus Christ. But I, I think they deserve some leniency. And I don't think that's too hard to ask. I mean, everybody need to get adjusted to this new transfer portal, this new NIL. And it's going to be hard to get guys to come because all these dudes want to do is come for the bread. That's all they want. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, ain't nobody checking college basketball out anyway. But, hey, check out the College Sports Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit on notification. Appreciate your chance to get notifications. We go live, drop video. Uh, financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know. Stick in the comment section. Peace.